If you're taking a river cruise along the Danube in Europe, there's a good chance you're going to visit Budapest, the city that is literally sliced in two by this legendary river. Whether you're enjoying a weekend break here, embarking on a cruise from Budapest, or just simply visiting for the day, you'll immediately be aware that there's a vibrant cafe culture with literally hundreds of places to indulge in the world's favourite hot beverage and a slice of Hungarian cake. Well, we've done our research and consumed the calories to come up with our guide to the most iconic, historic and visually stunning coffee houses you'll want to visit, however long you have, in this fabulous city. Come along with us as we show you three of Budapest's best cafes and some of the delicious confections you can enjoy there. Let's go! First up, we headed to what's been referred to as the most beautiful cafe in the world. That's a hefty claim to have plastered all over your window, so yes, the hype was real. It certainly didn't look it from the outside. In fact, the ornamental brass statues on its exterior of 14 sinister fauns created by Budapest's very own sculptor, Carole Senier, as symbols of sensuality and mockery, suggest this could be the most sinister cafe in the world. Fast forward 130 years to 2023, and the only slightly sinister thing we had to face was a lengthy queue to get in. But we really didn't have to wait long before we were shown to our table whilst our jaws slackened at the sight before us. The cafe's interior exudes opulence and grandeur with its stunning frescoes, crystal chandeliers, spiralling marble columns and ornate furnishings. After it opened its doors in 1894, the luxurious New York cafe soon became the centre of literary and artistic life, as it went down in Hungarian cultural history as the favourite place to hang for artists, writers and poets, making it an integral part of Budapest's literary scene. 1894 was in what was known as La Belle Epoque period, a time slice in history characterised by the very riches' inability to deal with the grim reality of modern life, and as a consequence, their retreat into a frivolous, fairy tale kind of existence of their own making. And here in the New York cafe, it's easy to see what was meant by frivolous and fairy tale. Despite a patchy history that echoed Hungary's own troubled political landscape, in 2001 it underwent a meticulous restoration that brought it back to its former glory. The intricate details and luxurious furnishings were carefully preserved, allowing visitors to experience the same ambience that captivated artists and thinkers of the past. But what about the cakes, I hear you cry? Well, the place was very busy, and make sure you're not in a hurry. Our order of the chocolate choice and the apple pie choice seen here took around an hour to deliver. Seems they still adopt the laid-back approach favoured by those artistic folks of La Belle Epoque. Today's prices would have put up those Victorian arty types too. 46 euros for our order is a hefty sum, and we would have expected speedier service for that too. Still, the upkeep on this place, not to mention the musician's daily compensation, must be pretty steep. There were no minimum wage laws in 1894, I'm sure. Okay, I'm being a bit silly, but today the cafe stands as a symbol of Budapest's cultural heritage and architectural beauty and is very much worth a visit, even if it is just to fill your Instagram with all those eye-popping details here. The most beautiful cafe in the world? Well, that could be down to personal taste, and I'll let you decide that one. Next up is another of Budapest's iconic buildings located in one of the city's richest areas. Today, the building houses the Parisi Udvar Hotel, but back in 1817 it was built as a posh apartment building, complete with weird protruding statues and a row of shops underneath, facing into an indoor passage, the first of its kind and supposedly designed to echo the Passage de Panoramas in Paris, hence the name Parisi Passage. There were 32 shops in total and some were the most elegant and luxurious in the city at the time. The interior preserves the passage beautifully, with the rows of shops now replaced by the hotel's restaurant and bar, with delightful tables and chairs populating the arcade's naturally lit interior. The cafe is located at the end of the passage and first opened its doors in 1901, during the height of the Art Nouveau movement. The Art Nouveau movement was characterised by a focus on ornate and intricate designs as well as a fascination with natural forms and shapes. 
Cafe's location within this stunning Parisi passage added to the elegance and charm of the establishment. The Parisi Passage Café quickly became a popular spot for Budapest's intellectual and artistic elite, and many notable artists, writers and musicians of the time frequented the café. In 2019, it was restored and reopened to the public. Restoration was a massive undertaking, but the result is a stunning and faithful recreation of the original Art Nouveau décor. There are a variety of delectable-looking cakes on offer here, and we opted to share a rocher a cricket ball-sized chocolate and nut confection that was utterly delicious. The service was top class too, without a long wait, and the waiting staff were polite and friendly, quite unlike the New York cafe, which felt a little stuffy, disinterested and slightly unwelcoming. Please note though that this cafe is a lot smaller and quieter, but no less architecturally impressive. We definitely recommend a visit, and at 18 euros for a homemade lemonade, a coffee and a cake, it felt much better valued too. Our final recommendation is Café Gerbode, a café that we discovered first and as we sat outside we unfortunately didn't get any inside shots, so we had to scratch around the Gerbode website to find a couple to show you. Apologies for that, but despite this, Gerbode is no less historically rich and visually stunning as the New York Café or Parisi Passage. The Gerbode Café in Budapest holds a rich history that spans over 160 years, making it one of the city's iconic landmarks. Established in 1858 by Henrik Kugler, the third child of a confectionery dynasty, this elegant café has become synonymous with Hungarian tradition and fine confectionery. Gerbode Café has welcomed many distinguished visitors, including renowned figures such as Empress Elizabeth of Austria and composer Franz Liszt, whose music you are hearing over this guide. Kugler brought in Emile Gerbaud, a Swiss confectioner, who eventually took over the café in 1884, and it reached new heights of popularity as Gerbaud became an internationally acclaimed baker and confectioner. His creations, such as the famous Gerbaud Slice, a delectable layered cake made with apricot jam, walnuts and chocolate, became a symbol of indulgence and sophistication. Today, Gerbaud Café has maintained its elegant grandeur while serving the sort of cakes that made its owner world famous. We chose to sample all the Hungarian classics that made this café such a draw over the centuries. The Gerbaud Slice, the Esterhazy Slice and the Dobo Slice the Hungarian national cake. At around 36 euros for the sampler plate and two drinks, it's not cheap, but you are tasting a piece of history, and that's just the most perfect way to spend an hour or two if you want to enjoy everything Budapest has to offer. We've got more delicious treats from our Danube adventure, so why not watch these next to continue your journey with us? Thank you.